nature and this episode of Kids Love Learn, we're going to talk about plants. So let's get to it. Plants are essential for any animal life on earth, especially human life. Don't believe me? Think about these two very interesting facts about plants. Humans need oxygen in order to survive. We use oxygen, among other things, to produce cellular energy in the form of ATP in a process called cellular respiration. And one of the waste products of that process is CO2, or carbon dioxide gas. Plants, on the other hand, use CO2, among other things, to produce their energy in a process called photosynthesis, and their waste product is oxygen. So, without plants and photosynthesis, we wouldn't have oxygen to breathe. Unlike plants, humans need to ingest nutrients in order to survive and everything you have ever eaten is made of plants or made from something that eats plants. Everything. Convinced yet? Most plants are made of the same vital parts, roots, stems and leaves. The main subgroups of plants are divided by the way they breed or reproduce or by which special parts they have. There are five subgroups. Algae and seaweeds, mosses, ferns, conifers, and finally, flowering plants and trees. Plant cells and animal cells have many similarities. They both have a nucleus and a mitochondria, just to name a couple. Despite their remarkable similarities, the few differences between animal cells and plant cells are significant. For example, plant cell walls are much more rigid as they are mainly made from cellulose, a type of complex carbohydrate made of glucose or sugar. This rigid cell wall enables trees to grow so tall. So, if humans use glucose to produce cellular energy, the next time you are hungry you can just snack on some lovely grass or have a nice bite of tree, right? Unfortunately, no. Humans don't have the right enzymes and bacteria in order to digest cellulose like cows or goats do. Another major difference between animal cells and plant cells have to do with the way plants produce energy. Plants don't need to ingest food in order to survive. Instead, they generate ATP by converting light energy into chemical energy in a process called, you guessed it, photosynthesis. The cell structure where photosynthesis takes place is called chloroplast and it's unique to plants. Photosynthesis occurs in two stages, a light dependent and a light independent stage. In the light dependent stage, photons from the sun are absorbed by a pigment called chlorophyll and go through a series of chemical reactions to produce ATP and NADPH. It is during this stage that water is splitted and oxygen is released back into the atmosphere. The second stage, also known as the carbon cycle, is light independent and uses CO2 from the atmosphere combined with other molecules and enable plants to produce useful carbohydrates like glucose, cellulose and starch. The final difference between an animal cell and a plant cell is the large central vacuole. Vacuoles are used to store water and nutrients, but it's also used to hold waste products until the cell can eliminate them. Vacuoles play an important part in the plant structure. When fully filled with water, vacuoles give cells more volume, helping support the cell wall and making it more rigid. So when plants look a bit floppy and unhealthy, they just might need some water to refill their vacuoles. In this video, we wanted to focus more on the plant cells and its functions, but there is so much more to talk about plants. They've been evolving for 500 million years, so surely they have a lot to tell, and we haven't even scratched the surface of this topic. Things like how they reproduce, their defense mechanisms, their unique attributes, that is still a lot to discover about plants. And I hope you continue to investigate it on your own. That's it for this video. Do you know any interesting facts about plants that you want to share? If so, leave a comment down below so we can all learn together. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see more videos like this, 
please consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to visit our website at kidslovelearning.co.uk. See you next time.